My name is Eric Motley. I'm a vice president of the Aspen Institute and the managing director of the Henry Crown Fellowship Program. And today we're talking about the impact and the legacy of Henry Crown. Hi, Nancy Spears with GenConnect.com, and today I'm talking to Eric Motley, who's the Managing Director of the Henry Crown Fellowship Program. Hi, Glad Eric. to be here, Nancy. Thank you. Wonderful to see you. So um, the Henry, Henry Crown Fellowship Program is just an inspiration yeah. to many. Um, give us just uh, a little bit of history on how it was founded. So 15 years ago, uh, a number of individuals came together to think about a way they could pay a tribute to... Henry Crown, this great Chicago and businessman mm -hmm. and philanthropist who was a great American citizen, mm -hmm. who had an enormous sense of gratitude for having come to America with nothing and having fulfilled his own aspirations professionally. And, and, um, and his family was greatly concerned about how they could pay tribute to him uh, with the Aspen Institute in mind by developing a program that could challenge young business leaders to realize their own commitment to society by giving back in a very significant way. And they married the idea with the Aspen Institute's idea, the Aspen idea, and that mm -hmm. is how do you engage people in thoughtful dialogue that encourages them and quickens them to examine their life and to ask some very important questions. Mm -hmm. And one of those important questions is, what is a good society? Mm -hmm. And what is a life of meaning? Mm -hmm. And how are you contributing to the making of this good society? And the program's been in existence for 15 years. 21 young business leaders, entrepreneurs, are selected annually, from the founders of Netflix to Yahoo um, to Pandora, uh, individuals who've gone on to become mayors of major cities, Cory mm -hmm. Booker, Deval Patrick, governor of Massachusetts, uh, Arnie Duncan, who's now the Secretary of Education, Michael Powell, wow. former chairman of the FC. I was a Henry Crown Fellow. I, I was going to yeah. say, I knew that. Yeah. And, um, you know, your <clears throat> humility coupled with extreme talent. What are some of the uh, qualities, leadership qualities, they look for in the criteria for selection? Well, we're, we're looking for individuals who've proven themselves capable mm -hmm. of being successful. Mm -hmm. And if you would ask any person, who Reed Hoffman is or Reed Hastings, they would say, he's a very successful businessman down in Silicon Valley, mm -hmm. or this is a very successful person in the field of education. Mm -hmm. So we know they have followers, that people listen to them, mm -hmm. uh, that people respect them for the contributions they're making in their own profession or vector. Mm -hmm. We're looking for people who are at an inflection point and whether or not they realize that they're, they have the capacity of drawing on a much larger canvas. And maybe they've not realized uh, that they could use a platform that they have to engage others thoughtfully in addressing societal issues. And what, what this program is all about is saying, you're very successful, but how do you move from success to significance? So the collaboration with the other Crown Fellows, I mean, it really requires you to step up to the plate and really think about how very you're going to ignite so. very um, much so. your passion and, and change the world in whatever way you can. Yeah. Can you give yeah. us some examples? Well, I, you know, in the truest sense, I mean, the term fellowship this is the, kind of the historian coming out of me. Um, the, the idea of fellowship is so misused or understated. Mm -hmm. And in the truest sense, Peter Reiling, the executive director and vice president of the Aspen Institute, and I uh, are constantly trying to form mosaics. Mm -hmm. like and we're that. selecting people in every class who represent different temperaments, talents, and convictions, and backgrounds who have something to say that would challenge their fellow classmates. And so we're nurturing a kindred spirit between the 21. And in turn, they're becoming each other's preceptors and mentors. And the Aspen Institute is not just about thought. Mm -hmm. It's about moving thought to action. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So there's yeah. the desire, believe, in action and yeah, very uh, much making so. it happen. And um, in terms of the, the Ideas Festival... Um, are do many of the Crown Fellow members do they participate? How do we they have get about involved? we have about twenty five Henry Crown Fellows who are on campus right now. Fantastic! And one of the ways that I believe we manifest this moving thought to action mm -hmm. is through projects. Every Henry Crown pro a Fellow has to undertake a project within their community, and community is defined very broadly. It could be a, a local program in San Diego. It could be a national program. It could be an international program. And we have a team of mentors and advisors who monitor and assess uh, the program to make sure it's worthy of the Aspen Institute's brand. This morning there were three or four sessions 
where Henry Crown Fellows met with business leaders and Aspen trustees, presenting uh, their Henry Crown Fellowship projects and getting advice from people like Bill Mayer mm -hmm. and Lester Crown and Steve Crown. Mm -hmm. um, Elaine Pagel was in the room, okay. um, and it's how to strengthen their business plan, how to better communicate um, the brand or the messaging. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you have Henry Crown Fellows who are there in the room. So we're, we're really committed to um, empowering people to realize that they could do much more than just think about great ideas, but mm -hmm. utilizing resources to kind of address these intractable issues, be it education, the inequities in healthcare, be it the environmental challenges mm -hmm. that we have, mm -hmm. uh, be it creating an environment um, that is sustainable in their mm -hmm. own communities. So those are all huge, huge issues and all of them need to be addressed. Yeah. And how can we help um, from in a social community, a social media community, to uh, get the word out in terms of the impact that the Crown Fellows are, are making on the planet? That's a great question. We have over 250 Henry Crown Fellows. Mm -hmm. The Henry Crown Fellowship Program, founded 15 years ago, has now seedbed it 14 other leadership initiatives at the Aspen Institute. So in Central America, there is a leadership initiative. Mm -hmm. In Nigeria, in Kenya, we just yeah. started one in the Middle East. We're working on the development of one in China. So now we have over 1,500 fellows who make up this intergalactic universe of the just that we call the Aspen Global Leadership Network. And so we're mobilizing all of these individuals all across the world to step up in very meaningful and impactful ways. Uh, there's a great message, and the message is, regardless of whether or not you're a Henry Crown Fellow, yeah. you, you have a responsibility back to society, and that to whom much is given, much is certainly required. Absolutely, everyone does, yeah. and so they can learn from the fellows, they can apply to be a fellow, they can support the fellows' uh, individual missions, um, and they can learn more from the AspenInstitute.com, right? Yeah. And, yeah. Um, or GenConnect.com. Yeah. And Henry Crown. And Henry Crown. Yeah. Henry Crown .org. Yeah. Henry so, I guess thank you to Henry Crown and thank, thank you, you to the Aspen yeah, Institute. Thank you very much. And thank no. you to Eric Motley. Thank you. And thank you to Nancy Spears for helping us get our message out. You're, it's you're a very, very important welcome. one. Thank, thank you. you.